Hi, it's Gary Mitchell with this week's Teaching Tips. I want to talk to you about 80 or 100 page detailed financial plans. I don't like them. If we're going to try to project what's going to happen over the next 60, 70 years with 20 different variables, I, I don't think they're worth a lot, okay? I like short little plans. Today, I'm going to show you what we show some clients when we refer to wealth buckets. We're all gonna have a bunch of these wealth buckets. Maybe you've got RSPs in some. Maybe you've got your house. Maybe you got a business. Maybe you got some real estate. Just great places to park your money. Doesn't mean they're bad, doesn't mean they're great. It's just places to park your money. But almost all of these buckets are gonna have a couple things in common. They're gonna be taxable. Most of them will be taxable at some point, okay? Second thing, they're correlated. Most of these are correlated to the stock market or the real estate market. Again, not bad, I'm just saying they're correlated, right? So when those things tend to go down in unison like they did in 2008 and 2022, both, those, both your wealth buckets or all your wealth buckets that are related to real estate or the stock market will shrink. When we talk about an infinite banking policy, all we're talking about is another wealth bucket, cash value, life insurance. We're not talking about an expense. It's like, how much is the expense of the insurance? No, that's term insurance or host insurance. Cash value life insurance is another place to store your wealth. So you're gonna put your money in the cash value life insurance bucket. It's not an expense. It's where you're gonna save your money. And what happens? Well, it's gonna be tax free as opposed to taxable. It's not correlated to the stock market and the real estate market. We saw in 2008 when everything crashed, whole life dividends paid 7% in change. We saw in 2022, Bitcoin was down 65%, real estate was down big time, stock market was down over 20%. Dividends we increased from 6.05 to 6.1 and then 6.35 this year, okay? Not correlated to the stock market. And this is the last part. This is what I really love about an infinite banking policy. Every other asset you have is an or asset. Do I put money in my business or real estate or RSP or do I take this investment or do I hire a coach? Every decision you make, do I put it in this one or this one? Your infinite banking wealth bucket, that's gonna be your only and asset. And an and asset I'm gonna put some money in my cash value life insurance, save my money there, and then when the opportunity comes along, or the emergency or expense, but let's say opportunity comes along, everything else crashes, everything's on sale, stock market, real estate, I'm gonna leave my money in the cash value life insurance policy, continuing to grow tax-free, but the insurance company is gonna give me 90% of my cash value in a loan with no repayment terms or repayment terms that I set, no requirement to make an interest payment. I can access 90% of my money. So my money's still inside the policy compounding tax-free for retirement. And it's taking advantage of the real estate or the stock market that's on sale. And it's providing a death benefit. That's what an and asset is. Till next time, we'll see you.